watching WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon. The news continues on WKYT, and we're glad you're with us today. Police are wanting to find two men behind a violent robbery. Nicholasville police say the pair hit an employee in the head with a gun during a holdup at the Dairy Queen on Main Street last night. WKYT's Michelle Chamberlain is tracking the search in our top story at 1230. Yeah, this Dairy Queen on South Main in Nicholasville was the target of an armed robbery last night. The suspects still on the run. Last night, employees of this Dairy Queen were closing the restaurant when their night took a turn for the worse. As two workers headed out back to take out the trash, police say they were greeted by two armed men. The robbers forced the employees inside, pistol whipping one employee in the back of the head. Police say the employees did not put up a fight and gave the robbers an undetermined amount of cash along with two cell phones. Jacqueline Powell once worked at this Dairy Queen and was obviously worried when she heard the news. That was really scary, is knowing that something physical was, you know, happening. I was kind of shocked, but not really because, like I said, it's very common in this town. People are always trying to rob something to get a quick dollar because. The drugs have just taken over their life. The Nicholasville Police Department tells me all they know about these suspects is they were both men and they were dressed from head to toe in all black. In Jasmine County, Michelle Chamberlain, WKYT. Michelle, thank you. And the employee who was struck in the head was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Co workers are remembering a school employee who died in an accident while on the job. 69 year old Doyle Patterson worked at Southwestern High School in Pulaski County as a custodian and a crossing guard. He was preparing to direct traffic when a truck hit him yesterday. Patterson was flown to the University of Tennessee Hospital in Knoxville, where he died just after midnight today. Anytime you lose a member of your um, school community, it's a loss that's felt by many. It's a very tragic, horrific accident, and our love and support go out um, along with our prayers to the family. Um, we've had grief counselors here um, since early this morning to support our staff and our students. Patterson began working at Southwestern when it opened in the early 1990s. A jury has recommended a woman convicted of abusing a child spend 90 years in prison. A Madison County jury came up with the sentence after finding Linda Richmond guilty of criminal abuse and assault. Police say she and Julio Valderas physically and mentally tortured a nine-year-old for nearly a year. Valadares took a plea deal with a 20-year sentence. Richmond will be sentenced on May 12th. A Lexington woman got a shocking wake-up call overnight. Someone crashed a car into her home on Weber Way off Clays Mill Road. As WKYT's Caitlin Sentner reports, police are now looking for the driver and a passenger. She says she was asleep in her bed last night while it was storming. She heard a noise that didn't exactly sound like thunder when she walked out of her bedroom to see what it was. This is what she saw. Monty LaFrano says her neighborhood is typically a quiet one, but that all changed in the early morning hours Thursday when police and fire showed up. Authorities say due to heavy rain, a car driven by two young males left the roadway and ended up on LaFrano's property and not just in the yard. LaFrana says the car hit her home before hitting her SUV and then fence. The driver and passenger were nowhere to be found, police say. The two young men ran. Why? Why would, why would somebody do that and just take off? They, at least they would have the courtesy of coming in and say, well, we did some damage to your house and your car. What can we do to help? There's a lot of damage left after the accident, and the homeowner is waiting to see what insurance has to say. In Lexington, Caitlin Setner, WKYT. Thank you, Caitlin. And police are still searching for those two young men. They tell us the car is registered to a person who lives in that neighborhood. A Knox County inmate serving time for fleeing and evading police has escaped from jail. Authorities say Dale Valentine walked off during cleanup of the Christian Appalachian Project in Corbin. His last known address was in London. Police have located a family who disappeared earlier this week. 76-year-old Sandra Webster and her two disabled adult children disappeared from Berea on Monday. A police officer found all three of them along U.S. 27 in McCrary County early this morning, not long after they had been spotted in Somerset. Family members say they're now relieved. This morning was my fall apart time, <laughs> and, uh, and then I got the call on the sightings. 
that sound really, really promising. Webster went to a hospital to be checked out. Police are waiting with the other two until family can come and pick them up. Governor Matt Bevan has vetoed more than two dozen items from the state's two-year budget bill. Bevan's vetoes mean some Kentucky high school graduates will have to wait until 2017 for free community college tuition. House Speaker Greg Stumbo reacted to that veto by saying, quote, no forward-thinking governor would have acted in this way. The governor also vetoed an item in the state budget that would make more children eligible for public preschool programs. Lawmakers cannot override any of Bevan's vetoes because the legislative session is over. Well, the race for the GOP presidential nomination goes through Indiana next. As Craig Boswell shows us, Ted Cruz is hoping that the Hoosier state responds well to his early announcement of a vice presidential choice. Ted Cruz and Carly Fiorina are on the road for the first time as running mates. The two are campaigning in Indiana ahead of Tuesday's primary. Cruz isn't the only candidate with company on the campaign trail. You know, normally they come out, they introduce Trump. Here, I'm coming out, and I'm going to introduce Bobby Knight, okay? Basketball coaching legend Bobby Knight endorsed Trump in Indianapolis before Trump turned his attention to Cruz. Cruz can't win. What's he doing picking vice presidents? Ted Cruz would need to win 109% of the remaining delegates to lock up the nomination. He is the first presidential candidate in the history of this country who's mathematically eliminated from becoming president who chose a vice presidential candidate. Cruz's only hope is to stop Trump from winning enough delegates before the convention. Democratic hopeful Hillary Clinton is taking a break from the campaign trail today, while Bernie Sanders' campaign is facing the reality he's unlikely to win. The campaign laid off about 200 people, leaving Sanders with about 300 staffers. We're going to win here in Indiana next Tuesday. Despite the move, Sanders is on the trail in Indiana ahead of Tuesday's primary and says he's in the race until the end. Craig Boswell, CBS News, the White House. And the Sanders campaign says they hope to rehire many of the staffers if the senator wins the Democratic nomination. Well, serious head injuries may now be linked to sleeping problems. Also, a new study looks at the options for treating depression. Our Better Living Report next on WKYT. Nothing going on right now, but you will see those storms pop up here in the next couple of hours. I'm going to show you exactly where I expect those to pop up coming up. It's something you don't see every day. Check out the signature at the bottom, though, of the arresting or transporting officer. This is a 10-year-old. A whole new meaning to bringing your son to work. Is this your son? Yes, it is. And so you had him dress up like he is a sheriff's deputy? Is this small-town sheriff putting his child's life at risk? I haven't done nothing criminal. I have not given, put my child in harm's way. And what led him to this? I'm done. 10-year-old deputy, tonight at 6 on WKYT. People know Window World as home of the original 189 window. But that's just the beginning. We install siding, too. Our siding comes with energy-efficient, form-fitted foam. Guaranteed for life. Window World, simply the best siding for less. Hey man, who do you think Captain D was? Captain D was actually regional semi-pro hockey captain Doug LaCour. Fueled by his voracious love of seafood, Doug would punch holes in the ice with his bare hands for a mid-practice snack. Hey! You're full of it. He sure is, Paul. Full of Captain D's southern style whitefish, topped with a special blend of Nashville hot seasonings for our Nashville hot fish. For full meals at just $4.99, it's gotta be D's. I'm Ultima Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Our firm is a family firm. John, my two boys, and so many lawyers who have been our partners for so many years. We know that an accident or an injury can have terrible consequences for your family. An interruption in income can be devastating. We are all well aware of what goes into making a family run smoothly. Visit ForThePeople.com to learn more about your legal rights or call me, our family helping yours. Morgan & Morgan, For The People. 
We've got an online auto approval horn swoggle. Oh, I hate the swogglers. They said I was approved online. Uh oh, I smell a butt coming. Yeah, a big butt. But I wasn't really approved. Onlydrivetime.com gives you a real online approval in two minutes. No butts. Because butts stink. Butts do stink. Um, kind of a double meaning. <laughs> what do you mean, huh? Save yourself. Get a real online approval first. Go to drivetime.com. At Window World, you get the best price right up front. Our windows feature the Good Housekeeping Seal. And come with a lifetime limited warranty. Act now and get a house full of windows for as low as $79 a month installed. Window World, simply the best for less. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 104.5 The Cat. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. Pretty good looking afternoon in store, except for the fact that we're going to be seeing some of these thunderstorms pop up here in the next couple of hours. That's what we need to be watching out for right now on First Alert Defender Radar Network. Nothing going on. However, I've highlighted an area that I look for storm initiation, meaning here come the clouds popping up. They'll continue to build and build. And then once they get to that level where they just can't hold any more water, boom, they push it out. And there you go, showers and thunderstorms. This is the area I expect those thunderstorms to pop up. However, that does not mean that's the area that we expect the strongest cells or the most severe cells. There's only a very limited shot at severe activity for today. It's, it's about a 40% chance of rain as opposed to a 60 and 70% chance the past couple of days. So it's a lesser likelihood, of not only rain, but also the severity of that. 71 degrees there in Jackson. Good feel. I mean, we're in the low to mid 70s. No problems whatsoever. If you're trying to get out and make some plans, do some things here and there, you'll want to do that within the next hour. Let me show you where I expect the best chance for maybe a stray severe cell. It's going to be far eastern Kentucky. So they'll pop up right in here, and they'll actually move, move eastbound. And once they actually interact with all that energy that we're getting right now, that sunshine peeking through, that's when they start to get stronger and stronger. So far eastern Kentucky, you guys have the best shot at actually picking up on a stray severe cell or two. Nonetheless, some of these storms that we've picked up the past couple of days have been very heavy rains, a lot of lightning, and some of them haven't even been severe. So whether you get a strong storm or a severe storm, trust me, it's going to be pretty strong. It's going to be very loud, a lot of heavy rain out of this because still that moisture is still out there. That's going to be throughout the rest of the afternoon. Check this out. 8 to 10 p.m., the storms move on out. We have a beautiful night in store, meaning we can rest and not have to worry about any, any of those thunderstorms. I mean, the past couple of nights have not been fun. So tonight, you'll get good sleep. Well, weather-wise, you're not going to have any weather going on tonight. More storms move in, though, as we travel towards your Saturday and Sunday after a Friday break, meaning mid-70s Friday, looks good, feels good, everything's great Friday. Saturday and Sunday, that rain moves back in, so try to knock out any plans. Try to, try to reschedule any events you have that you haven't been able to do the past couple of days. Try to do them tomorrow, because the weekend just doesn't look that good either. I will tell you this. This isn't Saturday and Sunday. This is not a huge mass of rain moving on in. This is going to be bits and pieces. You're going to get breaks here and there, like we've had the past couple of days. But some of those storms will have a lot of rain, a lot of lightning in them, too. So you'll get the breaks. But you also have to get the thunderstorms to go along with. It's yeah. kind of give and take as we travel towards your weekend. And that, All right. That is how it's been. You know, you Absolutely. have that sunshine for a while and fires up a storm. So. There we go. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Micah. A new study looks at treatment options for depression and how head injuries may be linked to sleep problems. Marley Hall has details in this Better Living report. A traumatic brain injury may impact a person's sleep a year and a half after the injury. That's the finding of a new long-term study in the journal Neurology. Researchers also say people with TBI don't seem to realize just how much their sleep is disturbed. The largest study so far of mindfulness-based cognitive therapy finds it is effective at preventing the recurrence of major depression. Researchers at Oxford say after five years, the results were similar to those who received other treatments, including antidepressants. Mindfulness-based cognitive therapy focuses on changing how patients think and feel about their experiences. And just seven procedures make up 80% of all emergency surgery admissions, deaths, and patient costs. That's according to researchers from Brigham and Women's Hospital in Boston. The procedures include gallbladder removal, appendectomy, and partial colon removal surgery. That's a look at some of the day's top health stories. Marley Hall, CBS News, New York. 
And keep it here on WKYT. Are you headed to the track for Derby? We're talking Derby fashions for men next on WKYT. Satisfy the hero in you with a McCafe coffee starting at $1. Get ready for Kroger's Kentucky Derby Festival, April 28th through Derby Eve. And be a part of America's greatest community festival with nine full days of local and national act concerts, the infamous Chow Wagon, various festival events, and more. Admission is free with a 2016 Pegasus pen, $5 at your neighborhood Kroger, and $7 at events. Hurry into Kroger for center cut pork chops for just $1.99 a pound and red tomatoes on the vine for only 99 cents a pound. Great food, low prices at Kroger. B-Boys was started by a couple of neighbors as a hobby. Today it's a thriving business that sells honey from hives surrounded by fields of clover in Shelby and Casey counties. When you buy Kentucky Proud, you're getting homemade freshness and quality. Look for B-Boys Honey and other Kentucky Proud products available every day at Kroger. Make it a sweet week of savings. Delicious B-Boys Honey is just $7.99 and bring home a Kearns Derby pie for $9.99. Great food, low prices at Kroger. Sleep is a critical component of our athletic training at UK. Our sleep experts are the champions at matching our customers to the best bed for them. This week at Sleep Outfitters, get a free TV with qualifying purchase, like this Sealy Pillow Top Queen set with gel foam, now only $4.99, plus a free TV. Go to sleepoutfitters.com for store locations and hours. Sleep Outfitters, official sleep provider of UK athletics. Sleep like a champion, play like a champion. Bluegrass Medical Aesthetics wants to help you on the path to wellness and healthy youthful aging. Hormone replacement, medically supervised weight loss, Botox, Kybella, and more. Located in Georgetown next to Qdoba. Visit us at bmaky.com. Families are about good times, making special memories together. And it all starts at Bluegrass RV. At Bluegrass RV, we're all about indoor comfort for your family's outdoor adventures. And we offer payments so low that you can afford the family fun all year long. So come see us on North Broadway in Lexington and let the good times begin. Family memories start at Bluegrass RV. Welcome back into WKYT News. Derby fashion isn't just for the ladies. Men want that perfect look as well when they head out to the track. Well, of course they do. And with some fashion tips, we're joined by Daryl McCarty with Logan's of Lexington. And we do welcome you. Thank you Thank for coming you. in. Thanks for having Get us ready for the races. That's right. Always, you know, that, that wonderful time to have a spring feeling. I guess bright colors. Uh, what, what What's in this year? Well, I, it's a terrific time. I mean, we're so blessed to live in a, in a place like Kentucky and to have Keeneland and the Derby and things and uh, pinks and lavenders and yellows just all kinds of colors just brighten the day. Are there things that men will wear this time of year that they won't other times? Of exactly, year? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Getting ready for that. So what is the key to a successful Derby look? I think really you have to find something for that individual. Mm -hmm. Okay? And so where I can, or we can be more objective to somebody, because I may like something, but it may not look good on me. So our job is to kind of help you to find just the right look for you. And when you're, you're talking about the Derby, I mean, uh, do people tend to want to go just, you know, a step up, right? Oh, a little, sure, a sure. Fancy. Yeah. You know, some of the guys wear things, like you said, that they don't, wouldn't normally do that, but they see it with other guys go, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. You know. yeah. Do you have a lot of times when the women come with them and are oh, wanting yeah. and... Oh, yes. Do, well, are they the ones who make the final call? Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Men dress for women and women dress for women. There you go. But the, one of the best things I might recommend is for the ladies if they want to match or, you know, something that doesn't clash perhaps, is to bring this, the outfit with them so we can match something up for them. 
Take a look at uh, some, some pictures nice bright here. colors there. Actually, some good uh, horse ties, equine ties. This is right. some vineyard vine selections uh, here with the bow ties, and uh, again, just showing off some great colors. One of our major uh, sponsors now of the Derby, and we're so grateful to have them in our store. Well, I know you're really busy now. Is it too late for somebody to come in and say, I want this suit and I need to have it fitted? Is it too late now? No. That's, uh, thanks for bringing that up because most of the times it is uh, for a lot of places around. Mm -hmm. But if need be, we'll get you ready that same day. And occasionally that Saturday morning before the Derby, really? we're still getting a call. <laughs> That's a challenge. <laughs> it is a challenge, but we'll get it done. <laughs> Looking at uh, some of those pictures there, you know, as you said, the th people are a little more daring, a little more edgy uh, this time of year. And, oh, sure. and maybe even these days, the, the sure. shirt colors tend to be uh, brighter and not just the old uh, blues and whites, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> if you see other guys dressed that way, you don't feel as bad, you know. But especially with the ladies there, with all the colors and the hats and things. Sure, why not? It's a fun time. Yeah. Have a good time. Great it's time a fun time. Time of the year here in Kentucky. Thank Logans you. Logans of Thank Lexington you. com with uh, more of your offerings. Thanks for coming by. My pleasure. Thank you. Coming next, he's one of the original stars of the hit TV show In Living Color. We'll visit with comedian Tommy Davidson next on WKYT. Hi, everyone. Amber Kanoi here for MomsEveryDay.com. We're over at More Innovations with... Chris Moore. And, you know, a lot of people think that carpet is really bad to have in your home if you have allergies. Is that the case? That's not always the case. You really need to pick a carpet or a floor that's suitable for your needs. And people still want a soft surface. Companies like Bowu and even Mohawk and some of the others actually have a very healthy carpet that is antimicrobial. They actually put silver in the finish wow. that helps break down the bacteria of odors, pet odors, and it actually creates a healthy environment for you and for your kids to be on the floor. And then what about vacuuming? I mean, is, is there a recommended vacuum for a particular carpet? Most definitely. Especially if there's an allergy issue, you want to talk about the HEPA vacuums that will actually clean the air as it comes through. And it's not just putting the allergens back in the air like a lot of your old bags do mm -hmm. with vacuums. All right. For more information, you all can go online to MomsEveryDay.com. I'm attorney Daryl Isaacs, the hammer. And if you've been injured in a car wreck, call me now. The insurance company usually puts up a fight, but Daryl Isaacs will know how to handle your case. Car wreck? Think big. Call in the hammer. Attorney Daryl Isaacs. Now at Haverty's Furniture, it's our anniversary sale, which means it's the perfect time to create the perfect home. Now through May 2nd, everything's on sale. It's our gift to you. Plus, we're offering 24-month no-interest financing. Come in today for great prices throughout the store. With Haverty's, your home can be perfect, even when life isn't. The anniversary sale, from classic to contemporary. Haverty's. Do you want to lose weight quickly and safely? Do you want to be healthy for a lifetime? Kim did and lost 238 pounds at Ageless Medical Weight Loss. Betty did and lost 135 pounds. The Ageless program is a medically supervised, affordable weight loss solution. Call today for a free consultation. Don't go on vacation this year. Bring it to you with your own pool from backyard living pool, spas, and more. San Juan fiberglass pool packages starting as low as $25,999. Vinyl liner in grounds starting as low as $17,999. And Doughboy above ground pools starting at $2,999. Financing and same as cash available. Don't forget your Hayward and Pentail equipment products as well as BioGuard chemicals and supplies. Hurry into backyard living pool, spas, and more and get your vacation started today. From simple to exquisite, Sue Casa has just the right granite for every style and purpose. Home with a 1999 granite kitchen and Lexington's largest selection of stone under one roof. Let Sue Casa bring your dream home. I'm attorney Daryl Isaac, the hammer. And for almost 23 years, I've been getting my clients all the money they deserve. I wanted someone who would pick up the phone when I called. With Daryl Isaac, that's exactly what I got. Someone working for me. Think big. Get the hammer. Attorney Daryl Isaac. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. Welcome back. Great to have you on WKYT and Tommy Davidson's exceptional range from stand-up comedy and acting to versatile musical ability. It's earned him a reputation as an extraordinary performer. You can catch his act at Comedy Off-Broadway. Welcome, Tommy Davidson. And we also learned that you have your own line of ties and 
clothing and everything else too. You do it all, don't you? You do <laughs> well, it all. Thanks to the gentleman that was here who had the beautiful tie and yeah. his clothier company. You know, he just he just complimented this. Uh, this we do these flower. I love it. Flowers. We love do, it. Love we do it. Pocket squares. We just got our shipment, and we just just actually started. It's called Tongue Tied by Tommy Davidson. So we'll look, look for it. that. <laughs> we will. Yes. <laughs> Hey, it's good to, uh, to have you here during the Derby season. You know, uh, yes, lots yes. Going I had no Kentucky. idea. Oh, yeah. I had no idea that the Derby season was coming until they mentioned it in the in the waiting room, and uh, I'm going, oh man, you guys are getting ready to reap the benefits of living fun here finally. Time. Finally, <laughs> right? It's this time of year where you go, okay, this is why I live this here. Is yeah, this is it. Absolutely, yeah, right, it is. Right. Well, I know it's a busy year. The presidential race is underway. I guess that makes its way into your uh, stage routine a little bit. It does. It yeah. does. I, I I won't tell anybody who to vote for, but just. Don't vote for a guy with a cat on his head. <laughs> Who would that be? That's all I'll say. I mean, because hmm. even the cat had a hat. <laughs> okay. Oh, so that, that's about as, as political as I get. I'm yeah. going to miss Obama, um, not because of all the politics, but because of, the, of his speech style. Yeah. Because, you know, he can, he can do a, you know, a minute speech and it sound important, but it was about nothing. You know, <laughs> like, for instance, um, he'd say something like, um, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Uh, Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are a part of a, an essential breakfast. And if you look at Tony the Tiger, um, on TV, you'll see him with a, 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 a banana and, and apples and, 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 and a, a carafe of milk, and then all of that will be part of the essential breakfast. Now, if you take a look at Tony the Tiger as an individual, he's, he's active with children. And, 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 and not like Michael Jackson, that's a whole other story. I'm talking about Tony the Tiger. And, and if you look, he's got a nice little blue bandana that's wonderful. So not only are they a part of a, a central breakfast, not only is Tony the Tiger a, 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 a very well-known, but Kellogg's Frosted Flakes are great. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds important to me. You're right. I love you, it. You know, you've, you've had so many projects and, uh, and done so many things out in Hollywood and so forth, but you still love the stage, huh? I love the stage. I love the stage, and, and I'm glad to be at Off Broadway. I haven't been here in three years. It's a great club, a standalone club. You guys don't know what you got here. You got a standalone club. That means it's not part of a franchise. That means yeah. they are doing yes. comedy mm -hmm. the old style. They're going out and getting and comics. Bring it. Special. That makes it, it special. Does. It's organic. And you're special. Yes. So I hope Thank everybody you. comes out to yeah. enjoy it. We're, we're enjoy on the it. show. Be there. It should be fun. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank Let's you. check in with Micah before we go. We'll be watching weather closely again this afternoon. Yeah, the afternoon, especially along that 75 corridor eastbound, guys. But it moves out and has a quiet night in store, finally. We want to thank you for joining us for WKYT News at noon. Next news at 4. Make it a great afternoon, everybody.